Okay, um, I'm Justin, and today we're going to learn how to import a GPX track into a Garmin eTrex 20. Now, to do this, you'll need a uh, Mac, um, the Basecamp software installed, um, a Garmin eTrex 20, and a, uh, a USB core to connect the eTrex 20 to your Mac. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually download the track. Now, for this demo, I'm going to download the track for the AZTR bikepacking race. And this is on the topofusion.com website. And on the, uh, the download page, there's a couple links. One is for the AZT300, which we don't want. One is for the AZTR750, which we do want, but I'll get to that in just a little bit. And the other one has a link to the actual GPX directory that has a whole bunch of uh, tracks to download. Um, okay, so one thing to know about the eTrex 20 is that it has, per track, a limit of 10,000 points you can have per track. And the download for the AZTR 750 that's available here has a track that far exceeds that. So if you try to import that track into your eTrex 20, um, it'll work, but um, it won't actually show you the entire track. It's going to end at like the 10,000th point which is around Tucson or something, that will not get you to the border of uh, Utah, unfortunately. So we're going to do something a little tricky. Um, on the page, we're going to go and find uh, the link for the GPX directory and click it. Inside here, we're going to look for another link that says ACTR. Um, and for now, this is 2015, so we're going to do this for the 2016 race in April. Um, uh, this link also might change. Uh, we're going to go for the AZTR-2014 Rev1 reduced to 10,000 points and download that. Okay, uh, I'm going to close out of here. Actually, I'm just going to go back because we might, might go there later. Okay, so now that that's uh, downloaded, we're going to open up Basecamp. And I've got Basecamp already in my docs. So I'm just going to click it and that opens up. Now in Basecamp, uh, what you got to do, it's a little weird. Um, on the left hand side of the interface, um, under on my computer, you want to just have selected um, uh, my collection has a little briefcase by it. Kind of important. If that's not selected, this doesn't work. Um, then you want to go to file and you want to go to import into my collection and then find that track you just downloaded. So mine is in the downloads directory and it's called AZTR 2014, all that stuff. Uh, click import, select it, click import, and there it is. So, again, I, I'm not sure why Basecamp does this, but under my collection, it should show up, and then underneath uh, my collection, this kind of pane is um, basically it shows you the contact content of that file, which is the track, um, and it's just called track in this case. Um, track is kind of awkward, so I'm going to rename it into something I can remember or at least something that kind of stands out once I get into my uh, eTrex. So I'm going to the AZTR reduced track. Brilliant. Um, okay, that part's done. It's now in Basecamp. Now I'm going to take my eTrex and my USB cord and I'm going to connect it to my Mac. So there's a little, a little port right there on the back upper portion of your eTrex, kind of near the batteries. Okay, now that thing's going to boot up. It might take a little couple seconds for it to show up in Basecamp. Okay, once your GPS is uh, connected to your computer, you should see it in uh, the pane labeled My Garmin Devices, and uh, there should be a little entry that says eTrex 20X, or whatever your model number is. Okay, that's how you know it's now connected. Um, I'm going to go down to On My Computer again, and make sure that my collection is uh, once again highlighted. And underneath that, you'll see under the My Collections pane that uh, track we just uh, renamed. Now I'm going to right click it or uh, control click. So I'm going to hold down control and click it, and this comes up. Um, and the first option there is a um, option labeled Send to Device. Aha. So I'm going to click it, and it's going to ask me to select the Garmin. GPS I want to send to, and right now there's only one that eTrex I just connected, and I'm going to uh, make sure that tracks is selected because I want to 
import the track into my GPS. That's exactly what we're doing. And click send. Take just a second and it says transfer complete. Awesome. So close that. And we should be done now to double check that we did it. So um, where it says my Garmin devices, you want to select your eTrex 20 again. Uh, control click and then uh, select eject. It'll take a little while just to get that thing ejected, and it did. And then you want to um, disconnect your Garmin from your Mac, and that should turn it off. Okay, so once it's uh, on and loaded, um, you should get the screen that kind of looks like that. Right now, the thing that's highlighted is the map, and you want to go all the way down. So you want to go click right on the little nubby thing, and then down to where it says Track Manager. So kind of like looks like this, you really can't see it. Okay. Hopefully, if you did everything right, um, one of the things that's going to be listed is that track we just imported. Mine is labeled AZTR Reduced Track. And you kind of see it's, it's that one right there. So select it, click it, and there's a couple of options. One is View Map, one is Elevation Plot, Show on Map, Set Color, Change Name. What we want to select is View Map. Okay, so it should show you like an um, overview of the entire track um, starting in, in the border of Mexico, ending in the border of Utah. Kind of looks like that. Yes, okay. And there's one big button that's labeled Go. Okay, click that. Okay, nothing will happen. You'll get like a, a beep, but nothing will happen. Um, what's really happening is we're loading that track into our, into our map so we can follow the line. Um, and that's it. This is going to take a couple of minutes to actually work. So if you look at mine, my, my screen turned off. That's okay. If you uh, click the little nubbin, it'll turn on again. And nothing has changed yet. It says go, but it's, it's kind of loading. It takes a little long because the 10,000 point track is the very limit of uh, what this model um, supports. Um, if you're feeling snarky, you could probably reduce this file even smaller to like a thousand lines. Or if you're really, really snarky, you'll take that original track that's more than 10,000, it's more like 80,000 or whatever, and chop it up into 1,000 pieces or 5,000 point pieces or something like that. Okay. Okay, this is cool. So um, we uh, view the map, we click go, and then nothing happened. Now, if I go back, um, that go button is gone, and I just see a map. Right now I'm in Boulder, so it's showing me where I am. So it's kind of like centered on Boulder, which isn't really useful. But if you navigate left, or west I guess, and then south, we'll get to Arizona. And what's really cool is you can kind of see the track kind of hanging out. And from kind of this like space station view of what's going on, you can see the track and there's just a whole bunch of uh, elevation um, high points and low points. So what we can do is on the e-trex there's the, the buttons on this side to uh, uh, zoom in, zoom out. So we're going to zoom the heck in. Once we're over kind of like Tucson or whatever. It's a little, it's a little clumsy. Okay, so um, I'm kind of near Phoenix, definitely in Arizona. And from where I am in Denver, I can, or Boulder, I can tell that uh, my track, which is this kind of buddy right there, it is loaded. So that's how we do it. That's how we um, download a track from the interwebs, um, upload it, uh, import it into our Garmin via Basecamp, and uh, then verify that it works. Um, Reasons it wouldn't work. Track is bigger than 10,000 points. Um, track isn't a real valid GPX file. Things like that. Okay, so just to cover this a little bit more in detail, say uh, we have a track, but the only track we have available is over 10,000 points, which isn't going to work for our Garmin Intrix 20. Um, what do you do? Okay, so what you can do is download that uh, extra large track. Um, in this case, for the AZTR, it's that link um, next to where it's labeled AZT. TR 750 2040 revision one data. Okay, so I'm just going to download that. And this track is more like 80,000 lines. I'm sorry, points instead of 10,000, which is our limit for the ETRX 20. Okay, once it's downloaded, we're going to go back to Garmin Basecamp.
and uh, import it as before. So make sure my collection is highlighted. Go to File, Import into My Collection, and then uh, find the track we just uh, downloaded, which is uh, this one. It's not that one, the reduced one. Uh, you can tell because the reduced one is less than a meg, and this one is 4.9. So I'm going to import that uh, uh, full-size one. <laughs> like base can't figure it out. Okay. So again, um, it import it into my collection. Uh, the track is just called track, so I'm just going to rename it to make it easy. So, uh, full meal deal. Sure. Okay, so once you find the track in there, you want to double click it and this thing pops up. Um, this is just basically a list of every single track point in its latitude and longitude, um, which is fantastic. Uh, a little bit too much information for me. But if you get this window out of the way, you'll actually also see the map of the track, which is actually super helpful. Um, we're going to go back to that list. And in the lower left-hand corner, there's a little menu labeled by a gear. So click that. And underneath that is an option to filter the track. So click that. Make sure under filter, entire track is selected. And under filter by, you want uh, maximum points selected. And then, you know, uh, enter in 10,000 and say OK. Now what this will do is it'll take our like 80,000 plus point track and make it into a 10,000 uh, point track, which is exactly what you want. So it did that. If I kind of scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there's actually 8,092 points for whatever the reducing algorithm did. That's what it did. So we're all good. So we can close out of this window. And uh, it looks like it renamed uh, the, the track we had to uh, the name dash original and the the one we'll want to now import into our e-trucks just like before it's called uh, AZTR full meal deal and just make sure yep that's the one that's less than 9,000 points so that's what you do if you have a track that isn't reduced already